Hi, now we are going to talk about Vector3. Vector3 is one of the most important type that we can use when we are working with 3JS or when we are working with 3D projects. Um, in this case, we are talking about an object, name it vector3 that we can show we can find it on the official documentation and you will see that only has three properties x y and z and you can imagine that these the are values that represent the axis in the world and each object has many methods that you have to know one of them is the method set that allows you to change the value of those properties in only one method passing the x y and z values um, there are many of them <laughs> set y set x set set z and are others and um, knowing this information we just can start to modify some things about the project we are working on in the previous lessons for example instead of set the position in this way we can do it in this way zero and zero and five and we will see the same result because we are setting the x z and y position of the camera uh, in the same way so now we need to run npm run build to compile the code and we can deploy our project using live server to see the result okay we are watching the same but could be funny if we change the value here and we refresh yeah we don't need to refresh because of watch functionality of webpack um, refresh auto refresh functionality of live server and we can see right now the camera was moving one step one meter to the one side to the right side two meters from up direction and stay five meters away or backward of the camera but we know that the camera has uh, extends from a object an object 3d and we know we can use the method look at that receive and a special okay let me see object 3d and now look at and as you can see look at receive as a parameter three values that can be the x z and y position on the world or we can receive a vector three so we can use the position of the box in order to tell the to tell to the camera to face the box position so if we do that and we save pressing ctrl s we will see now the camera is pointing to the cube that's all by now in the next lesson i will tell you how to fix this scroll and this margin using CSS. Stay around.